Hi guys, it is AG Jitters. So today I'm gonna be doing a Q&A because the last time I did one was like three years ago. So it's been quite a while. So I asked on Instagram and on YouTube for any questions that you guys had and yeah, let's get into it. There was a lot, so I'm sorry if I don't get to your question. <laughs> we'll start out with the comments from YouTube. Anna Ronaldo asks, who was your first doll? So my first doll was actually my mini me, Andrea who is number four. And I got her from the American Girl Play Chicago. Which doll would you say looks most like you? So probably not this doll. I don't have bangs anymore, but I don't know. One of the Asian looking dolls, I guess. <laughs> Why did you want to start a channel? So I've always been making videos since I was little, like 2010 or something like that, but I never uploaded them to YouTube. So finally in 2016, I wanted to enter this contest. I made a YouTube channel and I uploaded the video and I don't know, I've just always liked, I've always liked making videos. I've always loved American Girl. Glass Handed Dolls asked, what's your favorite song currently? Um, I don't really have a favorite song currently. Um, the last song I listened to, I guess, is like Backdoor by Stray Kids. What are your hobbies besides AGTube and AGIG? But I like making videos outside of AG. I like playing piano, I play guitar. Oh, in this world will come along. And I played clarinet in high school, but I kind of haven't played since then. <laughs> Glass Handed Dolls also asks, what are your favorite age YouTubers? Glass Handed Dolls is one of my favorite YouTubers. Um, Boy Meets Dolls, uh, Alley Cat Loves AG, Mixy Pixie 7, Four Happy Hippos. There's so many. I'll put I'll put like more listed here because there's no way I'm gonna actually remember this off the top of my head. Um, how many dolls do you have? I currently have, uh, wait, 13. I currently have one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I currently have eight dolls of my own. I have one our generation boy doll, so I guess that's nine dolls. And then my sister has four dolls who I also use in a lot of my videos. So in total, I guess that's 13. But if we're just talking about my personal dolls, I have eight. AG Infinity asks, what are their names? So let me see if I can list them all off. Andrea, Lonnie, mm. <laughs> okay. Um, Andrea, Lonnie, Mia, Ruthie, Clark, Adelaide, Nora, and my newest doll is Wendell because I made the doll into a boy, so yeah. Those are my eight dolls. Um, my our generation boy doll's name is Marlin, and my sister has four dolls. Their names are Sophia, Julie, Sage, and Avery. Have you ever had thoughts of quitting AG2? I might like disappear for a while, but I don't think I'll ever quit. Do your friends and family know about your dolls? Yes. Majority do. Not all my friends know though. Who is your favorite doll? My favorite doll is probably my mini me. Not to be conceited, but that is my favorite doll. Okay, so Allie and Stop Motions asks, where do you get all your cute doll clothes from? So most of my doll clothes are from American Girl. I have some things from Etsy, but not really that much. And I have been learning to sew, so I have recently like sewed these pants and I sewed this jacket, this is all from the same material. So I like trying to make my own things. I don't want to make an Etsy shop or anything, but I don't know. I really like doll clothes, so I would rather like get new doll clothes rather than getting new dolls personally. What editing app do you use? So I get this question a lot. I use the Adobe Creative Cloud. It's a bit pricey, but yeah, I use it for school as well, so. I use Adobe Premiere Pro, After Effects for some things, and Photoshop for my photos and thumbnails. I also use Lightroom sometimes. I'm not the best at using Lightroom, still learning how to use it, but I have been starting to use that as well. Which doll of yours is easiest to do stop motions with? Um, actually, my mini me, I know she's the answer to a lot of questions, but she's very easy because her head's pretty loose and her arms are like relatively still stiff so I'm able to move them or have her hold things while it falling down. The only problem is her legs are loose, so she kind of falls down. I probably need to restrain her, but I just haven't done that. Vibing Dollies asks, have you ever met any AG tubers? I have met quite a few, actually. I've met Forever in Dollways, Small Dolls, Alley Cat Loves AG. I've met a lot of AG IGers, but those are the three AG tubers. Oh, I met Sierra Bear. She's also like not that active on 
82, but yeah. Any thoughts on Courtney Moore? I think she's fine. I never planned on getting her, but I really like the 80s. I think her collection is cool. I love the acid wash denim. Those are my favorite items. Vibing Dollies also asks, how do you come up with video ideas? I come up with ideas based on watching other videos that are outside of AGTube. Like recently I watched an episode of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and I really liked the way they filmed that episode. So I'm going to try and make a video similar to that, hopefully coming soon. But yeah, I just take inspiration from things I've watched, like music videos, TV shows, Pinterest a lot. So yeah. Thea Wilcox asks, how long does it take you to edit? So it depends on the video really. Some videos take months to edit or even like a year to make because I probably put it off. <laughs> but the average, like my last Clubhouse episode, I filmed and edited that within a week. Do you film scenes in order? Not always. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. If It depends on how easy it is. If it's all in the same location, then I probably film them in order. Daydream Dollies asks, so when did you start being interested in dolls? So my first doll I got in 2007, so I guess 2007. <laughs> How has your experience with AGTube slash the AGIG community been so far on a scale of one to 10? I would say it's pretty much at a 10. I really love making videos. I really love the doll community and I kind of joined late, but everyone welcomed me. I don't know, and it's been the best. Daydream Dollies asks, how do you recommend building up editing skills for aspiring AGTubers? I would say look up tutorials of your editing program and see normally like that's how i also get inspiration is just like seeing a tutorial and be like oh i want to try that out and then i kind of build a story around that like the harry potter video i did a while ago where i wanted to learn how to do like the wand spells effect dolltube asks how are you today i'm pretty good thank you for asking now i'm going to answer some questions from instagram so have you ever filmed anything that wasn't a stop motion on your channel uh, yeah, I have. I have a lot of AGMVs that are live video. Those are not stop motion. I have a few costume like DIY videos. Those aren't my favorite to make just because I feel like I'm not very good at them. AGSwag101 asks, what are your favorite types of videos to make slash edit? I really enjoy making stop motions. I'm not big on the voiceover part. I kind of struggle with that. That's why I also really like doing AGMVs because I don't have to hear my voice in them. So I would say I really enjoy making AGMVs. That's why I have like a whole playlist of different AGMVs that I've made and I want to make more. AG Stitch asks, what is your ethnicity? And I am Filipino. <laughs> Paris Wonders AG asks, what's your favorite Flash character? If you guys didn't know, my channel is named AG Jitters because of the Flash. So in the show, there is a coffee shop called CC Jitters and I basically just put AG in front and replace it. So that's why my name is AG Jitters. I am actually not, I don't, I'm not like a huge fan of The Flash anymore. I still like it, but I don't even think I'm caught up on the current season. But my favorite character is probably, I don't know, Barry. I don't know if that's being basic, but Barry, Cisco, I like Cisco too. Her story AG asks, do you think AGTube is evolving in a positive way? And I think so, yeah. AGTube has gotten so different even from when I first started, like a few years ago, the editing has like really stepped it up a notch. Like everyone's photos are amazing. The more we go, like the better everyone's gonna be. It's maybe not as active as it was before, but I think it is a really cool space to just, I don't know, like be a kid and like have fun. She also asks, what's the most frustrating project that you've pursued? And that is probably my Teen Beach movie, Can't Stop Singing AGMV, because I filmed that at the beach and my sister helped me too and we got bit so many times by the bugs it was pretty bad it was hot too so yeah that was probably one of the most frustrating creatively ray asked is it challenging to use natural light in my stop motions and yes that is probably something i shouldn't do because that's what causes difference in the light flickering and stuff but i don't really have good lights and i really like the look of natural lighting try to shoot like on a cloudy day or a day where the light's just not constantly changing if you are using natural light. So yeah, that's what I would say. I mean, the best way is just to not use natural light if you don't want that flickering that makes it look kind of inconsistent in your stop motions. But sometimes it can't be helped and I just learned that whatever, that's just how it's gonna be. Sunset AG Studios 14 asks, how did you find out about American Girl and AGTube? 
So I found out about American Girl through our neighbor who had Josefina. And I found about AGTube through, I think, Stevens with a Dancer. I think I just came across one of her videos. She is like the OG AGTube queen, I guess. <laughs> Emerald AG asks, I love your stop motion so much, thank you. Um, random question, but what is your favorite color? And my favorite color has always been blue. I've said that since I was a kid. AG World Sprinkles asks, what is your favorite video that you've ever made? Probably my summer movie, Jasmine and Phoebe. I'm pretty proud of how that came out. Uh, I hope to do more videos like that in the future. All right, and that is all the questions I am answering for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm sorry if I didn't get to your question or if I didn't answer things properly. I'm not really good at being like in front of the camera. I hope you still enjoyed and I will see you guys next time. Bye.